All right, guys, I'm super stoked. We're finally getting to do our Green Bay Packers seven-round mock draft. Um, this is based on the first-round mock that I did on Monday. You can check the link right there to get the first pick. I mean, we're still going to do the first pick, but uh, give you a little bit more context on that. It's a little bit of a controversial one, which is unfortunate. I hate when I do controversial ones and then do a seven-round mock, but sometimes it happens. I don't think too far into the future when I do things, apparently. Um, I would love it if you would leave a like and uh, comment anything that you can think about as far as likes, dislikes. Um, let's get started. With the 31st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Pat Fryermuth, tight end, Penn State. So very briefly, um, I don't know that we pay Tunyon. I do think a lot of Tunyon's success comes from the people around him, i.e. a fantastic scheme that gets guys open, a best quarterback in football, the attention being paid to really good running backs and the best wide receiver in football has helped guys like Tunyon find success. And I think um, considering there's a good chance that he wants more money than the Packers are going to be able to pay him, and if I'm right about, you know, a lot of guys can succeed given, you know, if, if they were put in his situation, if that's true, you let him walk, you get a guy like Pat Fryermuth, and it, it's it's like Robert Tunyon 2.0. I mean, he, he has the potential to be, I don't, I don't want to say guys like Travis Kelsey and whatnot, but I had a, the opportunity of watching Pat Fryermuth, and um, I'm a fan, and maybe that kind of biased me a little bit. But anyways, Pat Fryermuth to the Packers at pick 31. With the 63rd overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Tyson Campbell, cornerback, Georgia. Um, another thing that a lot of fans underappreciate is the possible dire situation we're in at cornerback. Two of our three starting corners right now are free agents. I don't think Kevin King gets a contract. I don't know for sure if Chandon Sullivan gets a contract, meaning it's Jair, and I don't know who. So this is one of those opportunities where we have a chance to instead of regressing massively at corner we can actually improve kevin king has not been a premier corner in the league he's been fine but we have an opportunity to have two really good corners at the position no guarantee tyson campbell does that but let's take what is about to become a weakness and make it a strength we still have to figure out how to get more bodies at the position no question about it but this is a great opportunity to bring in um some some improved talent and having him with jair on the other side is, is going to be a uh Hopefully a fantastic pairing for a very long time. With the 95th pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Elijah Moore, wide receiver, Ole Miss. I'm a huge Elijah Moore fan. He's not exactly a prototypical Packers wide receiver. You know, they like the bigger guys or whatever, but you talk about a super quick, super dynamic type of wide receiver. Maybe he gets thrown into that Tavon Austin kind of role. I don't I don't think so, but it's something to consider. But either way, a, a, another weapon to put at wide receiver to compete with the guys that are there, and I, and I think probably take that number two role, which is great when you can get a third round pick that can take the number two spot, but had a lot of success at Ole Miss, uh, dynamic wide receiver, and um, with him and Fryermuth coming into this already elite offense, it's going to be scary. With the 127th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Ernest Jones, linebacker, South Carolina. Linebacker's been coming on a little bit. Um, for the first time in a long time, Packer fans are actually kind of excited about the linebackers, kind of uh, depending on who you talk about. But I still think there's there's some room to grow, in my opinion, and I think it's an unpopular one. Kamal Martin is really the only one I'm, I'm super excited about. Um, I know a lot of other guys are excited about different linebackers and whatnot, but even Kamal, he's not playing a lot of snaps. So in my mind, that tells me that the defensive coordinator feels he's a little limited in what they can have him do. Um, whereas Chris Barnes gets a lot of snaps and a lot of people like him, but I, I don't think he's he's quite at a super high level. In other words, the guys we have are not irreplaceable. So if we happen to find somebody that is a very good linebacker, I think it would be wise to at least take a swing at him. And then you've got a pile of guys that can compete. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having a bunch of guys. And if every, you know, if Kamal ends up being a freak and Chris Barnes ends up being a freak and Ernest Jones is a good player, are we going to cry about it? I'm not. With the 159th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft fifth round, the Green Bay Packers select Devontae Wyatt, defensive tackle, Georgia. Um, 
Packers have been trying to build up this defensive line for a long time. I think it is the most important piece for Dom or for Dom Capers. Oh my goodness, uh, Mike Pettin. He he has consistently pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed for defensive tackles. Uh, we went out and got Kingsley Kiki. We got uh, Muhammad Wilkerson as soon as he walked in the door. The the one thing the defense had was defensive tackles. He wanted to add Muhammad Wilkerson. Um, we paid Kenny Clark a bunch of money. We've uh, brought in Snacks Harrison. I mean, we're always adding to the defensive line, and I don't think that's going to stop. Snacks isn't going to be around forever, uh, probably not even next year. Um, Kingsley Kiki has taken some steps, but I don't know that he's really solidified his role. Montrevious, I don't think, is even going to be back next year. So we're going to take another swing with Devontae Wyatt and hope that we can really get a solid compliment somewhere in this pile of guys. With the 191st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Keontae Ingram, running back, Texas. Um, you know, the, the reality is, and I think most people have come to grips with the fact that uh, Aaron Jones is probably not going to be I got a tickle in my throat. I'm trying to fight. I'm not starting over. That Aaron Jones is probably not coming back, but... but what also needs to be acknowledged, again, the Packers have no money. They're completely out of money. Jamal is also a free agent, as is Tyler Irvin. We may bring back one of those three, but there's also a very good chance that we're going to have A.J. Dillon, maybe one of these three, and then probably still need another body. So I, I would actually expect that we will be drafting a running back, probably late round. The Packers like to take a lot of late round swings at running back. We're in the sixth round now. So we're going to take a swing at Keontae Ingram, running back out of Texas. Finally, with the 223rd pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Ifenyi Maja, defensive tackle, Temple. I butchered the heck out of that, but it is what it is. I mean, we're, we're just taking another swing. We, we want a lot of bodies. Uh, it's, a, it's a position that you rotate out a lot. Um, and again, we're still trying to find that one guy. So um, we're going to take several swings. And since we didn't take our first swing until round five, we're going to take a second swing at round seven. And uh, again, similar thought process. We're, we're really trying to make that a strength because that's critically important in Mike Pettin's system. That's going to do it, folks. That is a seven-round Green Bay Packers mock draft. I appreciate you checking it out. I would love it if you would leave a like on this video. It really helps me out a lot. Leave any comments or thoughts that you had on the picks or what you know, whether it's just prospects you like, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want in the comment section. Just don't get too crazy or I'll kick you out. Um, there is also a join button if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing. This does take a ton of work. Uh, I don't sleep much. I got a full-time job and a family and everything else, and I'm cranking out a ton of content. So if there's any part of you that wants to support my work, there is a join button. I would appreciate it if you'd at least click it, watch the video, see what kind of perks are involved, and if you'd be interested in that. Um, otherwise, that's all I got, and I will catch you next time. Bye.